Hi everyone, on today's episode of Home Networking Basics, we are looking at Wi-Fi routers, how Wi-Fi routers work, and basic Wi-Fi router settings that keep your home network safe, secure, and fast. I'm Mike, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. The Wi-Fi router, which is the backbone of nearly all home networks, is my favorite home networking device. It provides wireless connections, wired connections, firewalls, port forwarding, and excellent security benefits. I'm going to show you some basic settings and parameters on my router. So let's first talk about how a wireless router works. A wireless router connects directly to a modem by a cable. That cable is usually a Cat5e or a Cat6. This allows the router to receive information from and transmit information to the internet. The wireless router then communicates with your home Wi-Fi network using built-in antennas. And as a result, all of your devices on your home network have internet access. So now, let's take a look at some basic Wi-Fi settings. If your router is not a Linksys router, your screen menus will look a bit different, but it will have all or most of the settings that we will discuss today. So let's go ahead and log into the Wi-Fi router. To log in, type 192.168.1.1 into the address bar, then hit enter. This is your Wi-Fi router homepage. If this is the first time you're logging in, then use admin for username and admin for password. This is the usual default setting. After logging in for the first time, quickly change the login password. To change your login password, go to Connectivity tab, then look for the router password. Go to Edit, and then you can change your password. And just a heads up, make the password long, like a 12 character or 14 character phrase. And while we're on this page, you can see the current settings for the 2.4 and the 5 GHz band, like the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. And be sure to have the check for updates set to automatic. Make sure your time zone is correct and it automatically adjusts daylight savings time. On my router, I can turn off my activity lights if I want. Let's go to the internet settings tab. Our connection type is DHCP, which is good. Let's go to local network. This shows that your DHCP server is enabled. This also shows your starting IP address and IP address range. This is advanced routing and we have NAT enabled, network address translation. This tab is for VLANs, and we'll talk about VLANs in a different video. And the last tab is the administration tab. Under local management access, make sure the HTTPS is checked. It's more secure. The rest of the settings will leave alone, they look fine. Let's go to Wi-Fi settings, and from the wireless tab, we can set a bunch of parameters, like the Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, security mode, whether to broadcast or not broadcast SSID, that's your Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi mode, and your channel and your channel width. Now, as you can see, there's two different bands, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. And you can set those to be on or off. You wanna leave both those on. If you want more added security, then click No for the broadcast SSID. This way, your Wi-Fi network will be invisible. Let's take a quick look at the other three tabs. This is Mac filtering. This is more advanced security settings. Next tab is Wi-Fi protected setup. I recommend keeping this off. Having this turned on makes your network less secure. Next tab is wireless scheduler. This allows you to turn on and turn off access to your network via a schedule. The last settings we're going to look at are security settings. The most important security settings on any router is the firewall settings. Make sure both of these are checkmarked enabled. These firewalls will protect your entire network. And the VPN pass-through, make sure all those are enabled too. Now, internet filters, you want to filter anonymous internet requests, and you want to filter port 113. This prevents intruders from attacking the router through the internet using service port 113. And the next tab is DMZ. Just keep that off, that's an advanced setting. And the last tab is apps and gaming. 
This allows you to do single port forwarding or port forwarding range, but these are all advanced settings. We'll discuss these later in a different video. And one more setting to go through is the parent control setting. This is a valuable setting if you have young kids or teenagers because you can restrict specific devices to block inappropriate websites. So guys, these are all the basic settings that you need to know to keep your network safe, secure, and fast. Look for future videos on more advanced settings like port forwarding, VPNs, and VLANs. So guys, we're all done here. And once again, I hope you like these videos. If you do, give a thumbs up and share it. And remember, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive.